Russia said it could turn Poland into radioactive ashes and threatened the US. Any US attack on Russian targets in Ukraine would automatically trigger a world war, former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev has warned. The official who currently serves as deputy chair of Russia's Security Council made the remarks after Polish Foreign Minister Radoslav Sikorsky claimed Washington had threatened to conduct such a strike should Russia use nuclear weapons in Ukraine. In a post on X, Medvedev suggested that Sikorsky apparently has decided to scare his masters. He noted that Washington, unlike Warsaw, has so far refrained from making any such threats publicly because they are more cautious than the Poles. Americans hitting our targets means starting a world war, and a foreign minister, even of a country like Poland, should understand that. Medvedev added, the former Russian president also cited remarks made by Polish president Andrzej Duda last month when he said his country would be willing to host US nuclear weapons if offered such an opportunity under NATO's sharing mechanism. Medvedev warned that in case of a nuclear confrontation, Warsaw won't be left out and will surely get its share of radioactive ash, asking if this is the outcome the Polish leadership really wants. In an interview with the Guardian newspaper, Sikorsky expressed skepticism regarding a hypothetical Russian nuclear strike in Ukraine. The Americans have told the Russians that if you explode a nuke, even if it doesn't kill anybody, we will hit all your targets positions in Ukraine with conventional weapons, we'll destroy all of them. He claimed describing the presumed warning as a credible threat. The Polish diplomat alleged that China and India have also warned Russia against a nuclear escalation. The minister also suggested that Ukraine's Western backers should allow Kiev to use their weapons to strike military targets on Russian territory. As apart from not using nuclear weapons, Moscow does not limit itself much. According to Sikorsky, the EU should not be afraid to escalate the situation and should not impose limits on itself regarding the Ukraine conflict so that Moscow is left guessing what the next step will be. Iran for the first time supplied Russia with the latest aerial bombs for attacks on Ukraine. For the first time, Iranian authorities supplied Russia with the latest aerial bombs for attacks on Ukraine. This was reported by Build Open Data Analysis expert Julian Repka. After studying video footage from the Kursk region where a heavy Iranian Kods Mohaja 6 drone crashed. According to the analyst, it was this drone that carried the latest Iranian Chem 5 guided bombs. It is noteworthy that in Iran itself they were adopted only five years ago. Apparently, the drone was supposed to attack the Sumi region, but for an unknown reason, it fell. Robka noted, before this incident, Russian occupiers had not used high-precision Kaim-5 in Ukraine. According to Robka, their use indicates a new level of military cooperation between Tehran and the Kremlin. It became known that the invaders lost one of their reconnaissance and attack drones of the Mohaja-6 type purchased from Iran. Then Defense Express, citing Russian public pages, reported that the fall occurred in the Kursk region. Previously, Iranian media claimed that these smart bombs, depending on the flight altitude, can destroy targets at a distance of 12 to 20 kilometers, and there is also an unknown type of this bomb, the range of which has been doubled to 40 kilometers. It remains unknown how many reconnaissance and attack drones of the Mohaja 6 
type may be in service with the Russian occupation forces. It will be recalled that the Russian Federation will receive these UAVs in the summer to autumn of 2022. As previously reported by the Defense Express, the Iranian Mohaja 6 drone is 75% assembled from foreign components, about half are made by US companies and another third are Japanese. There are also components from China, Germany and even Israel. At the same time, we now have a case where Mohaja 6 fell directly in the Russian Federation and here we can cautiously assume that the enemy probably has and is probably implementing plans to use these drones to support their offensive actions in the Kharkiv region or even to launch strikes on the Sumi region and also, of course, intelligence and surveillance.